My name's Martin Walsh. I'm a film editor. Uh, I've been, been doing this for about 40 years now and um, lots of credits. Most recently, Wonder Woman and uh, Justice League. And I'm currently doing Artemis Fowl with, with Kenneth Branagh. I grew up in Manchester, so there, is, there wasn't a film industry. There was a TV industry, kind of. There was a BBC and there was a Granada television. But I didn't know anything about any of that. So I, I, I've, I kind of fluked a job with a company making what we used to call industrial documentaries, which is now corporate video. And uh, we, 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 I just you know, swept the floors, made the tea, and, and found out about... Initially, sound. I was really interested in sound because I was trying to be a musician as a teenager, as most teenagers are. Um, and um, found sound editing, music editing, mixing, and then sort of made the sort of sideways move into cutting picture when they, they you know, the guys there didn't want to do it, so they'd give it to me instead. I think you need to have uh, patience. Um, you, you need to be able to retain the original reaction that you, you you have to material so that um so that jokes don't get cut emotions doesn't get cut um stuff that people pressure you will get pressure to shorten and tighten and shorten and tighten all the time that's all the pressure that pretty much ever comes is is about tightening and shortening uh, and and a lot of stuff gets lost in that process and uh you've got to keep a you've got to keep an eye on all the stuff that made you laugh or cry way back at, at rushes, at dailies, initially, and try and keep, uh, try and make sure that doesn't get, get elbowed out as the process, pre, pre, as, you, as you go through the process, you know. There's a whole gang of VFX people pre-visualizing what the movie, what all of the big VFX sequences sh will hopefully, probably look like in the end. It's never quite that, but so when I arrive, those things are kind of already made. I can suggest and I can change and I can adjust those previous sequences. During production, post-production, we'll, we'll, we'll post-visualize. So we then start to develop the, the characters, the creature acting, so that the, the, the thing's looking in the right place, it's got the right expression on its face, uh, and, and that goes away to the VFX houses. And then weeks or days or months later, it comes back and there's some more work in it and it's got arms and it's got legs and it's moving. And then you can, you can, you can analyze that and say, no, it's too short, it's too long, it's not moving properly. It's, you know, and, and that it's, again, it's kind of organic, but in a, on, a, on an industrial basis, it's huge. One of the tools I like to use a lot is, the, is time warp. I, we use that a lot more. I mean, that was, that was an impossibility back in the old days that, that just simply couldn't exist we can do all sorts of sneaky little ramps of speed ups and slow downs now to to, to make a shot fit uh, a tempo or a, or, a, or a you know the pacing that we, you want to make it work I use that all the time all day it's, it's parked open on, on my desktop what advice would you give to assistant editors that want to make that transition find contemporaries who are who you're working with or you're a film school with or you're at college with and grow together it's how I progressed I grew with guys that I went to I was at the BBC with or Granada television with back in the back in the 80s and I still work with them now there is no excuse not to be doing editing and filmmaking because every every single person on the planet has got a mobile phone and half of them have got an iPad and the technology is in there to do editing it's it's a it's a it's a fairly um, basic version of editing but you can still do editing and you can practice editing and, and learn what the language of editing is you know how, how to how to join shots together to make things move and how to how where where about pacing and rhythms and all of that kind of stuff and there's it's not difficult to find the ways of doing that when i was a kid there was nothing there was there was there was men men with giant film cameras and, and what what happens beyond that nobody had a clue in the movie industry we use Media Composer. Um, I don't. There were there were other options, other detergents were available um, several years ago. But I think basically there's really only Avid. That's it. I wouldn't touch anything else.